Linux. The Kali Linux team will ship its 2.0 version. The whole course has been recorded using the previous version 1. The concept is still the same, but to avoid the confusion, I prepared for you this demo to show you the new functionalities inside this new monster. So what's new in Kali 2.0? The big change is in the graphical user interface. The operating system is using the kernel 4.0, which is based on Debian Jesse. Also, the Kali team improved the hardware driver's coverage and now they support a variety of desktop environments like GNOME, KDE, XFCE, MATE, E17, LXDE and so on. Let's take a look at this new operating system. To be honest, I like the new design. Kali 2.0 is much more visually appealing than its previous version. It looks similar to the Ubuntu desktop interface. The concept has been always the same since its previous version backtrack. Focus with me, folks. Are you ready? The most important application that you need to be aware of is the terminal window. Yes, the terminal window, which is located here in the left bar. In the previous version, it was up here in the top left side. Let's start discovering the new interface. In the top right corner, we have access to some quick settings. First, you can control the volume. Below it, you can control the internet connection and the proxy servers in case you have. After that, you have a logout shortcut if you want to quit your user session. At the bottom, you have three buttons. The first one on the right is to shut down or restart your computer. The next one in the middle is to lock your screen. And the one on the left is a quick shortcut to the computer settings or control panel if you're coming from a Windows environment. The workspaces is handy when you are working with multiple windows and you want to separate them logically. Let's say, for example, you have two clients that you are trying to test their environments. In order not to get confused, it's better to execute the commands of each client in a different workspace. For example, here in workspace number one, I will open a console and execute the commands for client one. After that, I can switch to workspace 2 and start the commands for the second client. If you have a lot of clients, this can become confusing. To solve this problem, click on the Applications menu and select Activities Overview. Now you have a bigger picture of what is going on. On the right side, you will see a menu with a screenshot of the workspace window. Double click on the desired workspace and you're in. Another new functionality in Kali 2.0. Let's say if you want to record your screen, then you can control this in this section here. I'm not going to spend time on this because it's a penetration testing course, right? Let's move to the left side. Here, the Places drop-down list give you access to the system directories. Home folder, Documents folder, Downloads, Music, Pictures, and Videos folder. 
the computer shortcut is for the root folder and if you want to access a remote one on the network then you can use the browse network link now it's the time to discover the hacking applications menu i like the new responsiveness and the design of this menu cali team grouped the hacking categories in a nicely clean way so what about the other applications that are not related to hacking and as you realized the number of items here on the right for example for information gathering are less than before in the previous versions of Kali don't panic they still exist here in the favorites toolbar at the bottom you have the show applications button haha <laughs> in this screen you have all the applications installed on Kali Linux the hacking and the non-hacking ones if you click on the information gathering for example you will see every one of them and if you want to add an application to the favorites list right click on the desired application and select add to favorites now you can see it in the left bar aka the favorites bar this was a quick overview of the new kali linux 2.0 be ready that always we have new versions I don't think that the version 2.0 is the last one. In future releases, we will have version 3, 4, and who knows, maybe another name for Kali. The most important thing to understand here, folks, is the concept. And that's what I'm going to teach you in this course.